Good evening, honkball fans, and welcome to Game 5 of the Championship Series here in Amsterdam between the Pirates and the Storks. And after yesterday's incredible ninth inning stuff-up by the Storks' bullpen, it's all to play for here with the series tied at 2. Now the lineups are in, and it's a repeat of the Game 2 matchup on the mound as it's Kraut versus Martes, a game which the Pirates won 2-0. to zero. But I'm joined now by Storks' general manager, Ozzy Villain, as there is a change in their lineup. Yeah, yeah, that's right, mate. Uh, Rick Kuypers drops out for this one. Uh, Bernardina shifts over into left field uh, for Dayton Bagel to come up into the lineup for center field. Uh, basically, this gives us a little bit better defense in the outfield. Uh, and it also gives somebody else a chance to get the job done with the bat. Good luck today. Yeah, yeah, thanks, mate. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome to episode 19 of the Baseball Journeyman at the Silicone Storks, and it is game 5 of the Championship Series here in Holland, or the Netherlands I should say, um, and we are tied at 2 after yesterday's choke, absolute choke in the ninth innings where we gave up 5 runs to lose what looked to be the unlosable, uh, and this is, this is a huge game, whoever wins today is one game away from clinching the title, and, well, we go home after today as well. So it would be wonderful, wouldn't it, to go home needing one win uh, rather than needing two. Um, you can see all the ins and outs here of the of the series so far. Um, it had been one for the pitchers and definitely not for the hitters, but it was a bit of a run fest, wasn't it, yesterday? Uh, I think was it 11, 12, 11 or something in the end that we lost? Uh, yeah, there it is there, 12 to 11. So, uh, yeah, we need to be better with pitching and hopefully we'll keep uh, keep getting those runs across the plate. Uh, let's have a quick look at the uh, lineups for this crucial Game 5. And here it is. It looks like they're going with the same team, but we have made changes. We have made changes. It's Nick Urbanus that leads us off at second base. Johnny Bladell comes back up the order to bat second in right field. Bernardino in left field for this one bats three. Francesco Carabello, the first baseman, cleans up. Uh, Hendrik De Lima remains at five, the designated hitter. Ryan Jackson, the shortstop, drops down to six. Martina moves up to seven. He's the catcher. Dayton Bagel comes in for his first uh, outing in the postseason. He's going to be in center field for this one. Quillen De Vint. Well, he would have been the hero of yesterday's game had uh, the pitchers managed to hold out for us. He bats nine at third base. It's Sharon Martes. He takes the mound for us. He has been decent for us all season. He was unlucky to lose game two. Um, you know, have only given up two runs. So we're up against... Well, he's going for us. We're up against, of course, Kraut, uh, who was... I feel like I'm not pronouncing that... Uh, very well, but anyway, <laughs> I'm most certainly not pronouncing it well. That's why um, he was—he's been really good this year. Only give, given up one home run in the regular season. Uh, he was very, very tough. He shut us out, didn't he, in, in game two? So we need to be better against him today. And here we go, game five, the final game on the road for the Storks this year. Urbanus to lead us off, and this is huge, isn't it? It really, really is. You do wonder how much of a momentum shift that bottom of the ninth innings in game four is going to be. We should have won that game. We, as I said, we lost it. We've lost the unlosable. And suddenly, where we thought we were going to be 3-1 up, we find ourselves at 2-2. And, I mean, if we lose this, then it's all gone wrong, hasn't it? Bladell with a ground ball. Oh, it's an error by the shortstop. And that is Johnny Bladell reaching on the error. We'll take that one out. Runner at first for the King Bernardina, who did hit one home run last game. What can you do this time? Bladell goes for the steal, and he makes it comfortably. A nice little belly flop at the end. And that gives us a chance now for Bernardina to drive in some runs. Come on, Roger. Bladell's going for third. Oh, he's on a, he's on a tear. Johnny Bladell steals second. He steals third. With one out, we have a runner 90 feet away. It's 0-2 on Bernardina. What can Roger do? Come on, mate. He strikes out again. Roger, what has happened to the king? All right, it's Carabello with two out. Can he drive in this run? Is Baldell going to try and steal home? Carabello. Oh, Francesco Carabello. That's a home run. It's 417 feet over the left field fence. It's 2-0 to the Storks. And, well, Baldell didn't need to bother stealing, did he? He could have just stayed at first and let Carabello do all the work. I think that's a third home run of the postseason for Carabello. Absolutely amazing stuff. It is a... Where's home runs here? It is a fourth home run. I'm selling him short for Carabello. And De Lima now, who has two home runs of his own. He comes in with two out. No one on. Two and two's the count. And he has grounded that to third base. And there we go. A home run and an error by the, by the, by the Pirates there. Gives us the two-run lead. And it is Martis now to hopefully go to work. 
first pitch swing against the Quint. Come on, Martis. We, if he can have a good outing, of course, he was playing for the Pirates this time last year. That is not the start we are looking for. Martis's first pitch goes to the fence for a stand-up. Nope. Check that. A double, a sliding double, as Bagel gets the ball in. And that is one run standing potentially at second base. Sams comes up. He is 2 for 16 this postseason. Martis, that's a pop-up. Over the, from first base goes Carabello near the dugout. Makes the play. That is one away. And the runner will trot himself back to second. Birkenbosch, who is 7 for 16 this championship series. Having a wonderful time of things. But that should be out. It is. And that is two away. They do have a runner at third. Now, this sounds familiar. Two out runner at third. Let's hope Martis does a little bit better against Lupstock. 3-0. and oh, And he walks in. Two out runners at the corners. For Ricardo, who is 4 for 16. Oh, we've gone to pick off. Have we got him? I think we have got him. Yes, we have. Oh, ho, ho. We've got the moves like Martis. Excellent stuff. And that ends the bottom of the first. It's Jackson to lead us off here against uh, Kraut. That's a strikeout. And that is one away. Martina. Full count on him. What can the catcher do? He walks. He induces the walk. Runner at first for Dayton Bagel. His first at-bat this postseason. What can he do? Ma Why is Martis stealing? Sometimes I question Barry Larkin's sanity. Why is the catcher stealing? Dayton Bagel. No one on. Two out. One and two's the count. And Bagel strikes out. Well, that went south quickly, didn't it? That ends the top of the second. No runs across for us. It's going to be Ricardo to lead them off. He is one and two, and that is a ground ball to De Quint. No, De Vint. Too many. De... Oh, it's an error. Oh, De Vint had been decent so far, but he's a bit of a defensive liability, and we've seen it there. And that is an error as the runner stands at first. Owen wins the count on Richardson. Richardson cracks it to the fence, and is things going to go a little bit wrong here for us again? Get it in, Johnny. And it is not going to score a run, but with no one out, we have runners at second and third. And, oh, we're going to pay a price for that error, aren't we? Martis now to Schlopp. A strikeout would be a wonderful thing here if we could manage it. Two and two's the count. And we get the strikeout. Huge. Absolutely huge. It brings up Jeebus. Can we get another strikeout? Martis. He does get another strikeout, and that's two away. And can he get himself out of this jam? It's Quackenack to the plate. I love that name. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. He is 2 for 14 this postseason. He has popped it up. And unless there's some sort of horrible error, Martis has got himself out of that error. Well, not really his error, but out of the error and then the uh, the, the double as well. But we've done really, really well there. We still have that 2-0 lead, and it's DeQuint looking to make up for that error. He was wonderful last time out, wasn't he? 4 for 15 he is this postseason. And this occasion he strikes out. Not ideal. Urbanus now. He is 6 for 19 in the postseason, 0 for 1 today. Urbanus pops her up, and that is going to be 0 for 2 today. That is 2 away, and it's going to be Johnny Bladell now, who reached on an error last time up. What can he do this time? 2 and 2's the count, and Bladell strikes out. That ends the top of the third. We've got two runs off one hit, uh, but it's the two runs that matter, isn't it? 1 for 1 is the Quint. He led it off with a double last time. This time... He's hit it to similar area of the ballpark, but up in the air, and that should be caught by Bagel. It is. That is one away. Sams now comes in. He is, well, the count is two and two. He pops it up. Bagel's there running in. Oh, and Dayton Bagel makes a stunning catch. I'm not sure if Bernardino would have got to that play. And Bernardino is able to shake off a potential injury as well, so that's important. Uh, all right, Martis to Birkenbosch now. Oh, and one is the count. Birkenbosch, that is... A single. Just for a second then, I wondered if it was going to drop into Jackson's glove, but no such luck. Oh, two out single for Birkenbosch. Lupstock comes up now. What can we do with him? That's popped up. It should be a simple catch for Bladell. He's coming around nice and comfortably, and he does make the play. They are scoreless through three. We have a two-run lead through three, but we've seen before we can throw away much more of a lead than that. Bernardina comes up now to lead us off. Come on, Roger. He has, well, at least he's hit it. That's something, isn't it? That's a pop-up, though, and that'll be one away. Carabello, who homered last time up, he is 
six, uh, sorry, he's batting 500 in the postseason. The first pitch swing for Carabello. What can he do? He has, I mean, he's hit it. Oh, he has got it past third base. So he hit as well, but he hit it better than that because it's got itself into left field. And that is a one out double for Carabello, who has, well, a home run and a double already today. He's unlikely to hit for the cycle because, let's face it, he's not hitting a triple anytime soon. Uh, De Lima now with a chance to extend this lead for us. He strikes out for two away. And it's going to be up to Ryan Jackson to try and drive in this run. He is batting uh, four for 17 so far this postseason. And he watches strike three go past to end the innings. We can't take advantage of the Carabello double. He's got both our hits so far. And Ricardo now comes in to face Martis. One and two is the count. Come on, Martis. Sits him down. Excellent stuff. One away. Richardson, who is six for 16 so far this postseason. One and two is the count on him. And he sits down as well. Go on, Martis. Excellent stuff, mate. It's Schlup. Three for 13 in the postseason. Wire two and one is the count. That's well hit, is it? No, Bladell should be playable. And that's going to be actually a simple catch out there in the end. And that ends the fourth. We are still two to zero up. Martina now to face uh, Kraut. And he walks again. He walked last time up, I think, didn't he? And it's of Dayton Bagel now. All right, now, uh, Larkin, Martina is not a stealing threat. But Bagel lays down a decent enough bunt, is it? Is it going to be... Uh, oh, it's going to be infield here. Dayton Bagel delivers the bunt for the hit. And that is incredible by Dayton Bagel. And it's Quillen DeVint now with a chance. What can he do? He lays down a bunt. Well, at least he didn't... Oh, he bunted into a double stage. At least he didn't bunt into a double play again. And that is runners over to second and third. One out for Nick Urbanus to try and extend this lead for us. Come on, Nicky boy. Ugh, don't watch strike three, mate. Don't watch it. Two away, and it's up to Johnny Bladell, who's 0 for 2 today, to try and extend this lead. Bladell. Oh, and Johnny Bladell delivers a massive two. Uh, no, just the one RBI single, but that's all right. It extends the lead to three. Runners at the corners, and it's Bernardina. Is this the moment Roger decides to show up? No, it's not. He's just waiting for his moment. It'll be the, it'll be game seven, won't it? That's when he'll uh, that's when he'll show up. Roger, come on, mate. Oh, that's disappointing. All right, Martis to continue to Jeebus. Two and two is the count, and that is oh, it's a single. It's a leadoff single for the Pirates. Quackenack's going to come up now. He's two for fifteen. Oh for one today. Oh and two is the count. Quackenack pops it up. That should be playable. Dayton Bagel has not moved. Hopefully he's awake. He is, and he makes the catch out there in center field for one away. Brings up Dennis DeQuint again. He is one for two today. Two and two is the count. Come on, Martis. Martis sits him down. Wonderful stuff. Two away now for Killian Sams, who is 0 for 2 today. Full count. Two out. Runner at first, and he's walked him. Oh, are we going to pay a price? We have two base runners on for Birkenbosch, who is already hit two home runs this postseason. One and two's the count. It is a ground ball. Jackson makes a fantastic play. Well done, Ryan Jackson. And that ends the bottom of the fifth. We are now three run up. Uh, three runs up. Three zero up. And it's Carabello, who is two for two today to lead us off. One and two is the count. Come on, Francesco. No, he strikes out on this occasion. 11 strikeouts for their pitcher. That is impressive. De Lima now comes up. He's 0 for 2 today. Am I sensing another strikeout? Yes, I am. Boys, stop looking at the ball. The white thing. Try and hit it. He has now tied the postseason record with 12 strikeouts. And you've got to say, he's almost certainly going to break it. Ryan Jackson is going to break it right here, isn't he? Well, credit where it's due. That's, uh, that's quite the performance. 13 strikeouts through 6 innings. That's impressive. Uh, Martis. Let's see what we can do with... Oh, Martis. No, that's a leadoff walk. Come on, Martis. Back on it, mate, to face Ricardo, who's 0 for 2 today. Ricardo, that could be a double play. Can we turn it? There's one. Can we get the double? No, but we do get the man at second. So that's all right. One away. Runner at first for Richardson. He is 1 for 2 today. Martis, first pitch swing. That is well hit into left field. Bernardina has that. It'll keep the runner at second, but with one out, tying run comes to the plate. It's Schlup, who is 0 for 2 today. Full count, and he's walked in, and we've got loaded bases again. I say again, after yesterday, I was a little bit traumatized. 
And Jeevers with one out. Martis, if there's ever a time for a strikeout, mate, this is it. Is we should get the out the plate. Can we turn a double? Can we turn a double? Oh, no, we cannot. That's two away, though. We prevent the run. And it's going to be Quackenack now. Hopefully, Martis, can you end this for us? A three. Don't walk in a run. Is it playable? Bagel's coming in. It's going to be a good catch. If he gets there, he does. And we get out of that innings without giving up a runner. That is, that's an effort. Well done, Martis. You dug yourself a hole and you got yourself out of it. John Sims comes in to pitch for them now. So thankfully, it's a new pitcher. Because that other guy was just too good for us, wasn't he? Two and two's the count on leadoff man Martina the catcher. And Martina strikes out. I'll tell you what, that's 14 strikeouts for our hitters today. That's not good enough, is it? Bagel comes in now. He's one for two after he's bunted himself aboard last time out. Strikes out this time. And I tell you what, we are, we're are we strikeout merchants today, aren't we? Devint comes up. Two and two's the count on Devint. He at least hits it. But straight to center field. And that'll do it for the seventh. We stretch with a three to zero lead. And it's Martis to continue, 119 pitches deep. He faces De Quint again. Pops it up, does he know? It's Bagel. Oh, Dayton Bagel with another stunning catch out there in right, sorry, in center field. And again, that's not a play that I think Bernardino would have made. Sams now comes up to bat. He's one and two the count. That is a strikeout for Martis. And he's got six. I'll tell you what, between the two teams, there's a lot of strikeouts this game. Birkenbosch comes up now. One and one's the count. No one on. Two out and Birkenbosch has swung and a miss. Oh, catches interference. Martina, you muppet. All right, there's a runner on. New pitcher now as Dario Alvarez comes on. ERA of 27 this postseason. Mate, you owe us after uh, that bit of game four stuff up. Come on. Gets the strikeout. All right. All right, we'll take it. We are through seven with a three-run lead. Urbanus to lead us off. He's 0 for 3 today. Come on, Nicky boy. Urbanus back to the pitcher. That's a simple out, and that is one away in the top of the eighth. Johnny Bladell now 1 for 3 today, with an RBI, of course, as well. And Johnny Bladell, oh, has he swung at ball 4 there? He's popped it up into left field, and that's going to be a simple catch for 2 away. And it brings up Roger Bernardina. 0 for 3 today, batting 111 in the postseason. 3 and 0's the count. Is he at least going to get himself on base here? Bernardino on base. Excellent stuff. All right. And it now brings up Carabello with a chance to extend this lead. He is 2 for 3 today. 1 and 1's the count. Carabello. Well, he's not a home run, but it is a hit. Bernardino should be able to get himself to third. No, he stays at second. Probably a good decision. So a two-out single for Carabello for DeLima, who's 0 for 3 today with a chance to all but put this game to bed. That's a walk. We've loaded the bases with two out, and it's going to be up to, who is it? Ryan Jackson, the, the uh, shortstop. 0 for 3 today. Come on, Jacko. 0 and 1's the count. Jackson, he's popped it up. He's popped it up, and that'll do it for the top of the eight. We leave the bases loaded, and it's going to be Alvarez to continue to Ricardo. And continuing looking to pay us back for game four, where he really did let that slip for us. That's the ground ball to Urbanus. Over to Carabello, mate. There it is. That is one away. Excellent stuff. All right. Alvarez now to Richardson, who is two for three today and having a decent day. First pitch swing. Over to DeQuint. Over the first mate. No, that's DeVint, isn't it? <laughs> too many. Too many Ds. Uh, all right. That's two away. It's Schlopp now to face Alvarez. He's over for two today. Come on, Dario. Sit him down, son. Come on. There it is. There it is. We go to the ninth with a 3-0 lead. It's a very different game to game four, isn't it? Sims, who is absolutely exhausted. Can Martina pick off a tight pitch here? Full count off the leadoff man. And he strikes out. Oh. That brings up a new pitcher now. Left-handed Nick Veltkamp. He's going to face Dayton Bagel. First pitches for him in the postseason. Two and two's the count. Come on, Dayton. He's hit it. As he got it, he is going to drop in. Dayton Bagel with a one-out single. Well, I think the uh, experiment to put Bagel in in place of Kuipers has just about paid off. His defense in center field has been superb, and he's got himself two hits as well. It's DeVint now coming up to bat. And that they picked him off. I've given him the big build-up, and Bagel, you absolute moron. You got yourself picked off. All right, two out for DeVint now. What can he do? One and one's the count, and he's popped it up. Ah. Uh... 
Unbelievable. All right, there we go. That takes us to the bottom of the ninth with a three-run lead. Let's try this again. Barry Vandrell comes on to try and see it out for us this time. Jeeves to lead them off. One and one's the count. Come on, Barry. Come on. That is not the start we were looking for. A leadoff single for the Pirates. Quackenuck is going to hit. He is 0 for 3 today. Could we get a double play? 1 and 2 to the count. A strikeout will take. It is, it's a, well, it's a liner there to third base. De Quint makes the play. Sorry, De Vint makes the play. And De Quint now comes up to bat. You can see the confusion there. Come on, Van Drell. 2 and 2 to the count. That could be it. That could be it. There's one. Oh, it's an error. It's an error. It's another error for the Storks this game. It's another error for DeVint this game. And the tying run comes to the place. It's Killian Sams. And surely we're not going to do this again. Full count. There's a strikeout. All right. Bottom of the ninth. Two out. Tying run at the plate. It's Kenny Birkenbosch who is I mean, he's their most dangerous hitter. He's already hit two home runs. We saw last game a grand slam. Not today, though, boys. We've taken a 3-2 lead, and we're one game away from the title. Go on. So there we go. We are now one game away from being crowned Dutch champions. That is a massive, massive result for us. We go home needing to win one of two, and that's... I, that sounds very doable for our team, doesn't it? Uh, Carabello continues to just rock the league. Uh, Dayton Bagel, I think, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think that was a successful change, so I think we probably persist with that. Um, you can see Kuipers, he was down the bottom of the batting averages. Pernadina, we have to stay with him, don't we? But he's really testing my patience. Martina, uh, sorry, Martos, I should say, ERA of under one now in the postseason. Just really, 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 really happy with that win. That was That was massive. That's it for today, though, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And we will continue going uh, every second day now during the week. So we'll be back on Tuesday for Game 6, where we could be crowned champions. I'll see you then. Take care.